Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another to the end of another day in the video diary and how's it going? I think I've fixed the sound. I think. I think I made the rookie mistake of turning on wind um wind reduction. Never turn on wind reduction. It never helps in any way, shape or form. It just hinders your audio in every way. So, but I obviously don't know because I haven't tested this on the computer yet. Because um, I'm filming it now, lol. Um, but turning wind reduction off usually helps. You can test this audio with any other previous video if you'd like to. Hopefully it's better. I'll try it. If it isn't, then it'll be a minor injustice. It'll, you know, it'll annoy me quite greatly, actually. I kind of like having good audio. But hey, to the hope. Anyway, so what's been going on today? Today has been a long day. The hell was that? That was very weird, and I'm getting very used to pressing this touch screen as well. So yeah, good, good. It's not actually a hindrance at all. Um, yes, today's been a very long day. I keep getting up at half past eight because it's the time I get up now. Um, I got up and the house was empty. It was just me at home. So I uploaded a video, um, and uploaded a video and got dressed and had some cheese and toast before going to work. Uh, before I didn't even go to work, but before heading on out. Um, I'm now insured for the car. Hello, Mr. Moff. How's it going? Um, I'm now insured for the car, which means I can now wander off whenever I like to, wherever I like, as long as I pay for the petrol and stuff in my own car. It used to be Mother's car, but Mother has a um, company car now. So I have her car for the next four months uh, until they sell it, um, which is going to be sad. I'm going to be sad to see the car go. It's, it's, a good, it's a good car. Don't tell her I said it, but it's a good car. Um, so I wandered off out. I went to go and put some CDs in me, in, in my now completely in my stereo, instead of having only two of the six CDs. Oh man, so I've, I've had a whale of a time. I've got, how did I organise it? I've got OK Go in the first one, uh, Jamie Cullum, Jamie Cullum, Tom Milson. Now adding to the list is C2C, Tetra. Seriously, oh well, hello, actually, I should really, it's a bit inappropriate this, um, this thing. C2C is an amazing band it's a french band they won like uh dj world championship dj thing is um they're amazing and their album tetra is well worth a listen i've shared it many a times on on um tumblr and stuff but um if you haven't check it out on spotify or something it's beautiful like oh my god just like down the road oh what a beat oh happy oh they're just all beats and they're all proper summy summery um, driving songs, so I can't wait for that. Um, literally can't wait, Mr. Shit, if you're going to be slurping all over me again. But I headed off out on a road trip to nowhere, um, just simply to go out and see, get my get my nose in with the car again, make sure I could do stuff like hill starts and um, roundabouts and stuff, just to make sure I knew the car and things went on fast country lane roads and stuff. See, that's really noisy, God damn it. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, what else did we do? We did that. Oh yeah, that took a while, then we came back here and we sat outside with the laptop trying to do some programming but my laptop wouldn't uh, log on to my internet, it was a really silly reason because I changed the channels of the um, network, of the router so that it would be on one that is less interfered with and Ubuntu slash Linux slash the drivers for my sound network card in Linux slash Ubuntu um, are outdated and won't allow me to go for a band that that's high, I was on like band 12 or something 12 plus 8, I don't know, um, and it wouldn't let me connect to it, and I'm like trying to find my friggin' internet, and I couldn't find it, because it was above everyone else's, on a band that no one's using, because, yeah, so I've knocked myself down again now, to something else, but it should mean I'll be able to connect to the internet, but I sat outside in the sun for nothing, because I didn't get any work done, and then it was time to go to work, and it was an 8 hour shift, my first 8 hour shift in a damn well long time, and I'm knackered, I've literally been sat there watching YouTube videos, falling asleep, so I'm going to go to bed, pretty sharpish. Anonymous has said, hey, have you done a wee wee? Go and do a wee. Get out. So, um, yeah, where, what was I talking about? Yeah, it was an 8 hour shift, I haven't done an 8 hour shift in a very long time, and it was an 8 hour shift of code checking as well, not just like lifting stuff and moving stuff around like I normally do. Um, it was very strenuous on the brain. I got sick of looking at dates. And ugh, yeah, so that was fun. Um, came back, oh no, I filled up my car. So I've now got a full tank of petrol uh, to run on because I'm not the kind of person who could just like, oh, let's put 20 quid in and then put another 20 quid in. I'd rather just 
fill it. You're gonna have to fill it at some point. So I'm gonna see how long an entire tank of petrol car le lasts me. Although I'm not intending on going very far unless me and Lovely decide to go on a road trip at some point. I'm seeing her Monday and Tuesday, so it depends what we're gonna do then. I don't know. Um, I'm literally it's just a tool to get to work, and it's a brilliant tool to get to work and for road trips and adventures and things. Um, and then we went back here. Hey, Mr. Moth, get away from my brand new camera, God damn it! Do you want to? Do you want to mess with my dressing gown? Because I will mess with you, okay? Do you want to get on my face? I'm gonna break you. I remember killing a moth once on, once on camera, and I got some proper stick for that. But I got like five, five people commented like, "Hey, get the fuck out my window," because I will kill you, and people get pissed. People get pissed on the internet if you kill animals. I didn't realise. I thought people on the internet didn't give a damn about Get the fuck out my window! I killed an animal once. I think it was a moth. It might have been... I think it was. Get the hell out. Go on, that way. That way. That way. The door is right there, you freaking moron! Okay, right, look. Look. Internet, look away, sir. It has now supposedly blipped into another dimension. And Sid's walked back in. God damn it. You didn't need to... I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't gonna do anything to it. I was just gonna shush it out both windows with both my both of my hands. So yeah, came back here, sorted out some video descriptions and stuff. Um, sorted out some video descriptions. No, I didn't do any video descriptions. I just answered your comments. Now you're back. You just signed your death warrant. I mean, something up. No, we'll leave it for a bit. Just don't get my dressing gown, you little shit. <laughs> Got it out. Got it out of the window. It's, well, it shouldn't have moved. Its its wing is a bit clipped, <laughs> but it, it, it hobbled its way out fine. Um, lol, suck it. Um, but otherwise, what am I talking about? Came back here, answered some comments uh, quickly before my battery died on my laptop, and then sat there watching YouTube videos on the TV again. There's <laughs> <laughs> dust in the air now. Um, so that was jolly good fun, and I've been falling asleep, I've just been sat there falling asleep and things. Um, word to the wise, although I might be planning a, um, uh, like a Nottingham, just like a round, let's just get together and have a cup of coffee or something, uh, even though I don't like coffee, I only like hot chocolate or iced tea, or tea. Um, even though I might be planning that, I might be in London on the 27th for a uh, gathering of people on YouTube. Um, that my friend Emily, the Emily from London who'd lost her camera, um, is planning. So just as a heads up, uh, if you're free on the 27th, consider thinking about going to London because I'm going to try to. I've got to talk to my manager about like moving a shift or something, which shouldn't be a problem. Um, but yeah, so I've got to keep stuff like that uh, just to just to warn you in advance. I'll let you know if it's it's going on and stuff. Um, mark it in your diary if you'd like to go to London or if you're near London and you can go to London and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to get going because I'm knackered and I'm going to go to sleep. Tomorrow we've got work about the same time. It's a one till nine, which is a really awkward shift because it's like slap bang in the afternoon so you can't really do anything in the morning and you can't really do anything in the night either. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to get up early in the morning, we're going to go outside, we're going to do some video description catch up, we're going to upload a video, we're then going to do some programming most likely, hopefully. Um, or video editing, and then we're going to go to work, we're going to come back, we're then going to do video editing or programming. <sighs> it's more of the fun. Um, we get a day off Monday. Got to work hard. Got to work hard over this summer to, to gain funds for when we go to university. The 27th? That's not even a weekend. I don't even think I'm... Uh, I might not even be at work. Uh, I'm going to hashtag that on the bloody... Um, 27th sounds like a cool day. I thought it would be a weekend, lol. I might not even have to talk to my manager. Uh, 27th, um, London, question mark. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 27th, book it in your calendars, and, um, uh, tweet me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Nottingham people, uh, stay tuned. I will pick a day when I'm in town. And I'll try and give you enough notice. Uh, I'm thinking Friday the 14th. Boom. Friday the 14th, I'm going to be in town at a certain time. I'll tweet about it and stuff. Uh, if you can come to town, let me know in the description down below. And I will catch you later. Maybe within a week. Catch you later.